Okay, so this is ESR's new 25W Qi 2.2 charger with CryoBoost technology. ESR sent me this unit for testing and I did a bunch of charging tests with my iPhone 17, including a charging test with a phone case on, since many people have been asking me whether the CryoBoost technology is still as effective when there is a phone case on the phone. Because I have the previous 15W Qi 2 version as well, I will also be sharing the amount of improvement between this new version versus the older one. Alright, let's get to the first part of this video and that is the charging speed. To test the charging speed of this new ESR charger, I charged my iPhone 17 from 0 to 100% while using my power meter and temperature probe to collect data during the process. I then compared the charging results with Apple's original 25W MagSafe charger and the results showed that the charging speed on ESR's Qi 2.2 charger is 40 minutes faster from the 0 to 80% range and about 1 hour 50 minutes faster for the 0 to 100% range. The temperature is also more than 2 degrees Celsius cooler which is quite significant and this should have a positive effect on the longevity of your phone's batteries. But one important question is whether the cooling effect will still remain as effective when you try to charge your phone with a phone case on since most people will be using a case with their phone. Interestingly, for this newer version, ESR actually added a sticker label on the charger recommending that you use a phone case that is less than 2mm in thickness for optimal charging efficiency. Since ESR has sent me their classic hybrid phone case before in the past, I used it for the purpose of this testing because the back thickness of that case is less than 2mm. It seems that even with a phone case on, the charger only took 5 minutes longer from the 0 to 80% range and only 16 minutes longer for the 0 to 100% range. Frankly, I was expecting a much larger time difference when charging with a phone case on, but surprisingly, the difference isn't as big as I thought. And even with a phone case on, the charging speed and thermal management from this ESR charger is still miles ahead of Apple's 25W MagSafe charger. But I have to give a disclaimer because the results that you just saw is based solely on ESR's classic hybrid phone case. I cannot guarantee that you will get a similar charging performance if you were to use a phone case with a different thickness or a different material. But given that the charging speed on this ESR charger is so much faster than Apple's 25W MagSafe charger, I think that as long as you are not using a super thick or rugged phone case, you will very likely still get a significant charging advantage from using this ESR Qi 2.2 charger. So naturally, the next question you might have is how much faster is this newer Qi 2.2 charger over the previous generation? Well, it is faster, but surprisingly not by very much. It is only about 4 minutes faster at the 0 to 80% range and 5 minutes faster at the 0 to 100% range. And the average temperature with the new Qi 2.2 charger is actually slightly higher, which is expected since the phone is charging at a higher average wattage. So at this point you might think, well, I might as well just get the older version since the charging speed advantage is not that big with this newer version. Well, there is actually one advantage that this newer version has, which is what I'll talk about in the later parts of this video. Now, because this ESR charger is so much faster than Apple's 25W MagSafe charger, I actually went ahead to compare the charging speed of this charger versus wired charging. Based on the comparison results, this ESR charger's charging speed does match up to wired charging from the 0 to 100% range, but not the 0 to 80% range because it took around 13 minutes longer. I think this has to do with the fact that Apple has increased the wired charging speed on the iPhone 17. So despite this new ESR charger using the new 25W standard, it didn't manage to charge as fast as wired charging. But I should also point out that this ESR charger kept the iPhone 17 a fair bit cooler, so it does still have some form of advantage over wired charging. In fact, I do wonder if this new ESR charger would be able to charge the iPhone 17 a lot faster if ESR allowed the fan inside it to spin more strongly. Because based on subjective testing, it doesn't feel like the wind coming out of this charger is stronger than the previous version. I tried to use my wind speed sensor to measure the wind speed coming out of the charger, but the wind was too mild on both versions, so I can't objectively tell whether the fan is stronger on this newer version. But I suppose ESR didn't increase the fan speed on the newer version because they don't want it to generate too much noise, especially in noise sensitive environments. And in fact, they have now added a button at the base which lets you turn off the fan if you really don't want the fan noise to be present. I think it would be nice if there can be two fan speed options, like one lower fan speed setting for noise sensitive situations and one higher fan speed setting for when you need to cool down your phone more so that it will charge faster. 
By the way, if this video has been helpful so far, do consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I'm aiming to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. You can also follow my Instagram page where I share things that I'm currently working on. Alright, back to the review. Next up, let's talk about Apple Watch charging. The Apple Watch adapter that came with the previous version did pretty poorly when it comes to charging speed and thermal management. But ESR did tell me that the one that comes with this newer version has been improved quite significantly. And based on my testing, it is indeed significantly faster because my Apple Watch took nearly 50 minutes less time to get from 0 to 100%. And it was nearly 40 minutes faster from the 0 to 80% range. However, there isn't much difference for the average temperature. And if we were to compare this to the original 5W Apple Watch charger, it is 33 minutes behind from the 0 to 100% range, but only 11 minutes behind if you were to look at the 0 to 80% range. This is considered pretty decent already because based on my experience, I've yet to find a third party Apple Watch charger that can beat Apple's original Apple Watch charger. So I can confidently say that the Apple Watch adapter that comes with this newer charger is indeed faster and better, and this gives you one more reason to get the the newer Qi 2.2 version over the older version. Next up, let's talk about the design. This newer generation is noticeably more compact than the previous generation in practically every dimension. The height is shorter and the footprint is also smaller and even the phone charging surface is smaller as well. As a result, the weight is also about 40 grams lighter. The magnetic strength on the newer version seems to be about the same as the previous version based on subjective feeling. But for some reason, this newer version no longer have magnets for the AirPods charging surface, whereas the older version has it. I'm not really sure why ESR has removed the magnets since alignment is pretty important for wireless charging. Next up, the accessories. ESR did include a very compact 50 watts charging brick in the box instead of the 35 watts charging brick on the previous version. ESR also did recommend using the charging brick that came in the box or use a charging brick with at least 50 watts of power for the best charging results. The cable they provided is pretty generic, nothing really important to mention here. Overall, this new Qi 2.2 charger does indeed charge faster than the previous version, but I would say that the charging speed improvement for the phone isn't as big as what I had hoped for, and I wouldn't mind having the cooling fans run a little louder and stronger for a faster charging speed. But the charging performance is still very impressive nonetheless, especially when you compare to Apple's 25 watts MagSafe charger. This is certainly a wireless charger that I would recommend to many people because ESR has now sorted out the Apple Watch charging, which was the main factor that was holding me back from recommending the previous version to most people. Anyway, if you're interested in this charger, I do have a 25% promo code and an affiliate link in the description below for you to check out the charger. The promo code can be applied to any ESR product, including the ESR Classic Hybrid Phone Case that I used during my testing. Alright, I guess that's all I have for this video. I will be making more reviews of wireless chargers with active cooling technology, so be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more of such content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.